ad on YouTube. And I just, I'm so grateful to y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's turn the music off for, for the first little part. Um, cause y'all are saying that it starts out with a copyrighted song. Um, but can I get some per emails in the chat, please? Cause this game is awesome and we're all together and we're going to have fun tonight. Once upon a time, time in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Brother Goblin. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. And together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Is this the part they that has music? the help of their friends in the forest. They found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> You're All here, okay? right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. That is a lot of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt Hi, fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, mom. So how did it go? Yeah, how did it get too. so bad? How did it get so bad? Sleep well and dream, my doves. Do y'all want chat off or on? By the way. Ollie. What a waste. What is she raw dogging and, and drinking like this? Ollie? Allison, help! The ice cream. Man, I remember right now. Allison, right.
Oh my god. I feel like I'm there. I see you, Brownie. Fuck. Oh my god. Like, how do you get over that, bro? Damn, like not even an hour ago, they were saying how much they love their mama. And she killed her. I killed mom. I killed her. Bruh. Bruh. This game is so immersive. It truly is. It is so good. Okay, I think I can turn the music back on. Hopefully. That sounds copyrighted. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll sing to y'all. I want feet pics. Ooh. Feet pics. Ooh. Feet pics. Ooh. Girl, I'm trying to tell you. Give me your pinky toe. 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 Her. Give me a pinky toe. Oh, look at the transition. Look at the transition. Oh, they look so cute and full of life. We have no idea how shitty life is about to get. <laughs> That's what life is about. It's like, you don't know how shitty life is about to get. Yo, it's kind of wild that they have no no sound other than music right now. So this is grown up Tyler. I don't know why, but I want to call her Violet. I know that's not her name. But I like the name Violet the, more than whatever her name is in this game. I forgot what it is. It's so fitting. Girl, take your socks off. Take your socks off. Look at that pinky toe. You already know. Take your socks off. Take your socks off. Take your socks off. Show me that pinky toe. You already know. Allison, yeah, with a Y. That's so annoying. Bro, I can't keep, I, whatever. I'll just have to cut it out. <laughs> I'll have to cut it out, bro. I want to hear something. I want to hear something. Kinder. Thank you. Yes, trigger warning. Trigger warning. Mental health, adult themes, all of that. Hey. You doing all right? I thought coming here next. would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? But instead, we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Um, I just want to say right off the bat, I don't okay. actually want anyone no. to send me feet pics. We're not letting ourselves do this again. So please don't. Come on, up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? 
No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. That's Let's wild. Who likes mint chocolate chip ice cream like that? That's a red flag. Y'all, guess why? Let me tell you something. Come closer to the screen. Come closer to this. Hold up. Matter of fact, I'll come closer to you. I'll come closer to you. If you are dating somebody and they tell you that their favorite ice cream is mint chocolate chip, check their freezer for human heads. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. That's wild. You're making me sort out toilet stuff? So we... Oh, I found another collectible pair. What's this doing down here? Is that... So gum? to recap, Ugh. we have two twins. I guess that was probably me. Brother and sister, Tyler and Allison. And uh, Tyler is transgender. He's a trans man. And um, their mom tried to attack him one night as a kid. I completely forgot we had a pet vol for a few days. Poor volcano. And Allison, good old Allison here. I think Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Killed her. To protect your brother. Lasagna, lasagna. Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. Favorite ice cream flavor? Okay. I don't want to tell y'all. This is not a safe space for me. This is not a safe space for me. Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. We selling this lamp. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. Mm, should we go upstairs? Look at stuff? Do you really want me to go into the toilet? We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Smell. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say it? What's y'all? Y'all answer first. What's y'all's favorite ice cream flavor? What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, Go but y'all have it. to agree, like, there's no way Fair that enough. mint chocolate chip Junk is yard. your favorite flavor. Maybe, like, your second, third, fourth flavor, favorite flavor. But I will not accept that mint chocolate chip is anyone's favorite flavor of ice cream. That's chaotic. And what do you know? More stuff. Yeah, look at all this stuff. We got dollar signs. We selling it. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler. How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on Hi, the Marcus. bed. One fell down and bumped his head. You Bob said birthday doctor, cake? Doctor said no more monkeys. Cotton candy? There's no way. This, there's no way. Cotton candy is your favorite <laughs> ice cream flavor. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. Oh, she worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? Hey, Mom. When's Mom coming She'll home? be here soon. Oh, Tessa, Is just kidding. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. 
Thank you. God. He scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? I didn't think walking into the room would stop that conversation, but good to know. Good to know. What's wrong with birthday cake? It's too sweet. Are you out of your mind? Are you out oh, of your mind? Bunk beds. All right, here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dearest Ollie, how are you? I'm in the boathouse and everything is going very well. I am writing this letter to formally invite you to my tea party. I will prepare tea and cookies and you can meet my dearest friend baloney who i know you will love please come this afternoon at 4 p.m kind regards allison that is so cute alice is writing notes like that to her brother that's so formal i love it to ollie from allison others may not understand the laughs we have together and love we share for each other but I know whatever happens, every goblin has a twin. I love you. Happy Siblings Day. Is that a real thing? I'm sure it is. There's a day for everything. Okay, fine. My favorite ice cream flavor. So, okay. You gonna come back down to help me or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. Oh my gosh. There's way too much junk to sort through. Do you want me to pack or do you want me to help you, bro? Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Um, but put a one in the chat if this is a safe space. Dump in cake. Cherries. Ew. Right off the bat, I do not want a cake with cherries in it. The cookie two-step. I've always seen that at the grocery store. I've never gotten it. My favorite flavor. My favorite flavor. Hold on, does this still work? My favorite flavor of ice cream. The ice cream that beats all other ice cream flavors. The one that melts well, that can hold toppings up. You can put anything on top of it. The one, the only, the head bitch in charge. Vanilla. Um, pineapple. You also lost me there. Walnuts, chocolate chips. I hate all of that. You can keep all that shit. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Um, specifically bluebell appliances, homemade vanilla ice here. cream. It tastes well, different from any other vanilla ice cream. Okay enough shape. No way. We are so not good. moving the oven. So good. So good. There's no way you can have the bluebell vanilla ice cream and talk to me. If you haven't had it, you can't talk to me. You can't talk hmm. to me. Crummy table and you can't talk to chairs. me. Uh, let's sell it. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. I and did I know say I what I said. On the couch most of the time, anyway. I love me a vanilla or a vanilla oh. bean situation. Oh god. That's, but not all vanillas are created smell? equal. What the smell? You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks. Ooh, what's that smell? It smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Vanilla bean with cookie dough? I've never that seen that. Does that exist? I would fucking love that. Yes. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Because I love chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Hero of skunk kind. But I always I want there to be no chocolate chips in it. And it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Wild animal superhero. What we got in this fridge? After 10 years, what's in the fridge? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. 
pickle and ketchup sandwiches? What? I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup only sandwich? Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Oh, ew. Hi, Juan. How are you doing? Peanut butter One with key ranch. Mm -mm. So good. So, did I ever tell you? I'm pretty sure I have. I told y'all my favorite food growing up as a kid. Before I discovered ramen, Ugh, um, stain is gross. my favorite uh, food, my favorite sandwich. Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. We don't talk about that. Uh huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. So when I was a kid, my favorite thing. So <laughs> my family did not believe in dinners or like cooking food. So a lot of times I had to like fend for myself to find something to Hello, eat. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. And so I would have this like twice a day, every single day. Peanut butter and ranch. Okay, you want attention. That's why you said that. You want attention. I got you. I got you. There's no way you, you consume that in your mouth. Um, my favorite food growing up was uh, American cheese and ketchup sandwiches on plain white bread. Like craft singles. And ketchup Come on, on American We've got a bread. Lot more to do. Okay, what? What do you want me to do? Where are you taking me, sorry? Exactly. Shut the fuck up because you're not moving. I've looked at all this stuff, bruh. I've then looked at all this stuff. The game is Tyler, not us? Allison. I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. Oh my gosh. Yo, I don't like, I don't like this man right. ordering me around. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee I would totally table. do that for a punishment though. Ranch dressing and peanut butter sandwiches. Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. All right, let's clean. I really like that armchair. Maybe Very sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. On second thought, never mind. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean. This is so cute. And finally, I hate to say it, but tomato and mayo can't just get sandwiches? a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You were relieved from your duties. Perfect. We did the living room, y'all. We're out here. We're cleaning out this house, doing our job on our business. What's up? Should I throw these pictures out? Um... I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, Add it to is, but... But... You remember how I'd spend hours in front of the mirror just gathering all my hair behind my head? Sure. Dressed like this, with the long hair, it was like no one could really see me, you know? I was the invisible boy. Damn, didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, 
Yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy, and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, she's such a supportive sister. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Hmm. Oh, man. I love this one. Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on. Like I was saying. Pickles and mustard sandwich? Nah. I'm gonna need you to put some beef on that. I'm gonna need you to put some beef on that, bruh. Come on, honey. Smile. Like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. What's Tyler's dead name? I've forgotten what it is, if they've ever said it. My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Pickles and Kool-Aid powder. I'm about to end the stream. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Uh, we want tea or we want coffee, y'all. I'm a tea girl Earl all day. Earl Grey or chai? Earl Grey. Earl, call. Earl I'm Grey. I'm myself a good Earl old Grey. cup of joe. Ah, uh, nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Girl, this is not a time to be joking. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may oh, be great with milk? But he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. I'm actually more of a You're chamomile right. girl. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Y'all, I'm not even trying to flex. My skin is so soft right now. Too pale, but very soft. Shout out to Body Scrubs. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. In the kitchen drawer. Oh, cool. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Props on. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept Drop all the these. Drop the skincare routine? You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. I might take a You know minute. how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the You know I'm done with the stream. I triple Marianne cleanse my face. The princess in the stories. Or triple uh, cleanse my face. Yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And she was all alone in the woods in this house until we showed up. She was. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So if Marianne was the princess. Then who were all the rest? And here we go. 
Oh, come on. Humor me. Okay, so... Is that... I don't know who these people are. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. Pickle juice. With the cleansing oil and the micellar water? Um... So, when I get off stream... I wash my face with the cleansing oil. Then I use a foaming face wash. Then I use one of the best things I've ever had. It's like Neutrogena Clean Clean Pore or something like that. It's a mask and a face wash. And it's minty and it makes your pores super small. You done? And then I use a cleansing water. Mm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. There was always a catch. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. Here's the only problem. I can't make out who these people are. Is the one on the left Tess? I don't know who the other two are. If there was any sort of racial diversity in this game, this wouldn't be that hard. I don't know who these three people are. I'm pretty sure that's Tess. Who are the other two? So I'm gonna say that... You so. go here. No, I wanna swap it for the left. There you go. And then maybe swap you two. Is that right? It's Tessa, Sammy, and Eddie. Who is Sammy and Eddie, bro? <laughs> Who is Sammy and Eddie? No offense, but there has been like five Cauca Caucasian men in this game. All brunette. I don't know which one's which. And even if I did know which one's which, I don't know which one's the bear and which one is the moose. Which one is the one that is the law? I think the one in the middle is the law. I think I have it right. All right. I think I'm done. Maybe? You sure. Shit. Uh, whatever, sure. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Let's see. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. Eddie's the cop. Okay, thanks, guys. You know, my, like, yep. you know how totally married, when you. Yeah. Turn off the princess, computer. Though. Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She'd have been a terrible ruler. Hated authority. You know how, like, when you restart your computer, it resets all your RAM and your memory? That's exactly what I am. When I go to bed, all my memory is reset for the next day. Hidden then the monster. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will get you! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. Did y'all ever have imaginary friends as a kid? really here? Uh, I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! Girl. I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. 
It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Hello? Sam you can't said ice cream? Grandmaster Clearly y'all are not lactose timing. intolerant. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins. Never had an imaginary friend. Chief Brown, he said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. I didn't realize, you guys, after you're done with the chapter, it gives you, like, your statistics of, like, how you did against other gamers. Every man needs a good knife. I need to remember to show y'all this time. Because I did not show y'all last night. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady in the house. I'm not even going to look at the chat and, and y'all's food combinations, bro. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Thank you for every time. Oh, yeah, y'all was fucking. Gotcha. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. Okay, but, uh, I will take care of it. I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. He's much better we'll in this be interaction. Right he likes me. That's what the game told me last night is that I want him over. I earned his respect is what the game said. That Tyler earned his respect. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. We should pick up some seed for the birds. Sure. He just had a whole dish in his pockets. For real, how did, where'd he come up with this? Just got raw fish in his pockets like that. Like, sir. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies. What is outdoor huh? studies? Well, it's a good thing know? I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. What the, what is outdoor studies? What happened to the fuse box? Oh, I forgot to put it back together after I fixed one of the fuses that kept snapping. It turns out a circuit was a little worse for the wear. I started it back on the spot. Just the way your mama would have wanted. Made her happy when things could be fixed instead of thrown out. Anyways, uh, let me find that dark Chips key. on top of chocolate? You put chip like you eat chips with Reese's peanut butter cup cookies? I mean, Reese's peanut butter cups? Wait. Wait, Sam, you have more of our keys? Yeah, the one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special Study tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands. There's Sam. no way that's well, a degree. I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope, we're good. Yeah, Thank give me you. back our keys. Uh, fair warning, door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. Hey, good job. Right. No, it's it's nice to have uh, a man around the house. That is the number one thing I miss about being in a relationship, is having someone take out my trash. Well... At least the door is open now. Fuck emotional support. Yeah. Take out my trash, bro. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. 
I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. All right, let's fix right. it. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. All right, we got a puzzle, y'all. Marianne, I wrapped up your electrical board. I got to run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. I'll have to use a 15 amp fuse for the garage. Amps total up to 120. Okay. 120. All right, let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but that's a lot Water of Water the kitchen, the outlet, the light, the generator, the heat of the garage. Um, okay. Let's see. It's supposed... What? Okay, hold on. Let me look at this one more time. Yeah. Sure. Look at this one more time. Oh, shit. Um. What happened? You okay? For once, I respected the right color coding. Color coding. Each view should have the right color cable. Perfect. That that makes it easier. High school. Maybe. pull back around. till till I got hurt. Yeah. That's rough. Let's try this one. Um. Thirty. Working just fine. Problem must be the nope. latch. No shit. Thirty. Yeah, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime. It's a door latch, not a 15? bottle of cheap tequila. Oh no, 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 no. No! A margarita? Really? Hey, sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. Y'all, huh? Okay, we got 20, 20, we got 50, 70, 85, and do another 15 is 100, and a 20. So, 15? 20? Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh... Hmm? Seems good. Fuck yeah. Per. Per. Alright, what we got? Let there be light. Bacon and mac? Mechanic queen. I'm Butch. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. What, 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 what? What's wrong with him? Bye. He looks like he just saw a ghost. What was that about? Oh no, what was he looking at? I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. You know, Tyler. Hey, that's not cool. You're kind of Sam a dick. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry. It was a low blow. He really freaked out when he saw that guy. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so Your crafty. mom hand made you toys? Right. Take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope. Comfort. I feel like y'all killed the wrong woman. I'm gonna put that out there. I'm just gonna put that out Maybe there. Maybe a car. Ooh, or a tank. I'm just gonna put that out there. I think y'all killed the right wrong woman. I'm sorry. I think, I think that's what happened. Hey there, little buddy. I hate spiders. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me, boy. Oh, man, I'm going to put together the sweetest toolbox ever. 
Don't do that. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Be my guest, but it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I we see We don't know dollars. who the dad is. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Oh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Yeah. Allison, do you know who this is? Who? Is that your dad? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Y'all are really afraid of your mom. And aside from the, the incident, I haven't seen a reason for y'all to be this afraid of her. Maybe I'm tripping. Come on, it's gonna get infected. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look, I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm going to show you what I remember. There's more. I can feel it. Hi, Tasha. How are you doing? How was your day? What is going to knock out City I again? I make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here. Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Oh, she out! threw some... What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Okay, so this is another one of those instances where we have to pick what we think really happened. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Hear what? Please just go. Yo, it's like one mystery after How another. We the same thing so differently. It was a long time ago, and well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look. I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? All right, we're still remembering. So Tyler remembers. I didn't pick anything. I did not pick anything. Okay, I'm about to say. So Tyler remembers. You're a goddamn hypocrite. 
Get out of here. Homegirl throwing the picture. You're a goddamn hypocrite. And where's the other option? The phone. Get out. Get out. The picture was broken, right? Get out. I think You're she threw the photo. Get out of here. Get off my property right now. Because, I mean, she was wilding out that whole day. So maybe this was a continuation of her wilding out. So we agree. Hopefully. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And Hi, then kitten. lied about it. Hi, kitten. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Today was right good? Now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what would what these mountains you, of trash you, do without us? What did you eat, Fuck Tasha? You said you full. What did you eat, though? Hydrate? How many of y'all live someplace where it's Man, snowing right now? I can't or there's snow Vermont. on the ground. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. Oh, it's Tina. I hope I, I guess right. Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. Yo, when y'all be going someplace and you be late, I'm always late. I am late everywhere that I go. Everywhere that I go, I I'm late. Go stretch my legs then. Not severely late, like maybe five, seven minutes late, but I'm always late. And I will admit that I am 100% the girl who's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm parking and parking. Meanwhile, I'm like, okay, Tina, what's going on? 10 blocks away. Hi, hi. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated. But what is, I what it, I guess, I guess the homegirl like threw the picture. Breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Um, this is for the house. Do it. Yeah. Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details later, hon. Where are we? Where's Tyler? I got something to tell him. Is this going to get scary? Y'all be on time when y'all be going places. I have ADHD. That's my excuse. Bear encounters. Never hike alone. Do not feed the bears. Imagine trying to feed a bear. You do not have to tell me that. You do not have to tell me that, sir. I have never, not once, not ever in my life. D and I did that tempted. trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. So go near a beer. Beer. Hi, Natty. Glad you like the game. I'm glad I like the game too. Do y'all like the game? By the way, I think next game we're playing. I think we're playing. I think I'm finally playing Lethal Company on Wednesday. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings With a bell. some new people. So Looks I like think next nice week spot. we might be on a scary ish. There's this game I want to play. Before, right? Ooh. I feel like I've been here before. 
There's this game I want to play where it takes place in like an 80s haunted arcade. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so... Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. I would have thought you'd be into this. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy Hello? your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Oh, man. I'm not going to say the sulk thing. I'm going to say... I like this view. That's the, that's the only thing I can think of that won't... It's pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. What the house sale? It's pretty crazy Tina found someone willing to pay cash for a house out here, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> you guess? That's it? I don't really want to talk about it. Right? Tyler house. needs the money. I feel like he would have been okay. upset either way. We don't have to. I feel like he would have been upset either way. But I don't understand. Are we not cleaning out the house to sell it? Hey, you feeling this? We have been here before. Found you, North Star. Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. No. Hey. I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. I definitely you were right did. You called me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. Yeah, you were. I'm all for enjoying the wins as Keep telling me that. Keep telling me that I'm always right. I like that. Figure. I like that energy. I'll try my best. Say it. Mercedes, you're always right. Thanks, Ty. Hey. So I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. That's the Leo in you? Who's a Leo? He'll probably say he's too busy to talk. That's how he tends to avoid conflict. We're not looking for conflict, just answers. <sighs> Let's be honest. Lately, that's been pretty much the same thing. I haven't been trying to pick fights. You know that, right? I just want closure. That's all. I know. I need some of it, too. 
closure. Hey, look what I found. Aha. Are we and Allison? I knew we'd been here before. Oh, you claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom, and it still is. I'm not slandering Leo. Colin I'm just saying I have nothing to do with Leo energy. There's no Leo in my chart whatsoever. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. I don't have a Leo moon or a Leo rising. I like. I think you have me confused with a with hey, somebody. You better already. You're right. Way better. Do y'all be knowing y'all's rising signs? Hey, now we got the T on it for Tyler. So, what's the plan? My list. I'm a Virgo. I don't like the way you said that, though. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. As Let's if Virgo women aren't stereo. top tier. Okay. Virgo women. Uh huh. Women oh, yeah. are top tier. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. We have snow in our hair. Have a good day, Mr. Bell. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh. Good morning, Allison. You're not trying to get timed out? You Hi, talk Uncle. about Virgos in a negative way. You're getting station. timed out. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. Save that energy for... He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Cancers and Tauruses. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. And Aquarius is... an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make... Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Let's be positive. It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> she's been talking nonsense. Y'all, I've been doing this lately. new thing lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. <coughs> um, I've been doing this new thing lately, y'all, where I pretend like I'm in a reality show and there's a film crew following me around everywhere that I go. And it makes me do things that I normally wouldn't do that I should do. For example, let's say I finish stream and I really don't have the energy to wash my face, for instance. Like I don't wanna take my makeup off, I just wanna go to sleep. I pretend like I'm in a reality show. And I'm like, okay, if I had a nation of people watching me on television, would I want them to see me going to bed with a face full of makeup? No. I saw someone talk about it on TikTok, like <laughs> living your life as if you're in front of cameras. I'm like, it's totally working. I'm <laughs> doing shit that I need to be doing. Thanks. They have a really hard time hiring because I won't lie, it's tough work. And some of the people they do hire don't give a shit about the kids, you know? I knew I could do some good if I stayed. So I did. Yeah, like I said, they were lucky. Service is a calling few people are willing to answer. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE, you know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. We talking about love languages now? Okay. I'm gonna need all of y'all to go ahead and take a love language quiz, if you haven't already, and let me know what your love language is. Do people around here know? No. So, keep it under your hat. 
You know how it is out here. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. Excuse Does she me. even tell me anything we're talking about? Who designed this building? MC Escher? Layout is totally bizarre. Uh, I agree. You can turn that car around. She's, She's going to take care of the business. We empty Linda's parents' house? Copy. So we have to rent a Better get cracking on that arrest. Oh, it's my dad. Later. I feel like I haven't seen her. Let me get small talk Good. over here. Let me I save my sister. Over at the high school with the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so. I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. don't talk to me. That's fine. I'll talk to I'll talk to this gentleman. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. It, oh, hey, can Eddie. Can we talk to you in private? Yeah, we need to talk to you. It's a little urgent. We need to talk to you. Can you excuse me for a second, Doctor Torres? What's going so on? Pretend it's the Truman Show. We had a few more questions. Except we're about aware of it. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe. So we no, can more come like Real Housewives. Excuse me. Come on. <coughs> Guys, um, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, time, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement, and I don't have time to None chat right now. None of y'all have now. gifts? I was just hoping for some language. Answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Okay, Maybe so a couple of y'all have gift giving. Wait. You're not seriously Mine used to be entering a police archive. Go words of affirmation. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too then. Can you give and me her name? And it still kind of is. Okay. But quality time has definitely, I think, taken, is equal to that. Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex The mailbox bandit? Um, on October 27th, 2015, at approximately 10.03 hours, Officer Greggs and myself it's were dispatched. I checked it two days ago. Response to a theft. Right. Report ways caution. Is, hmm. is that relevant? Is that relevant? But you couldn't stay to give us. All right, sis, so we got to do some snooping. Let's go to uh, his office upstairs, perhaps. Hey, shit. Two up, two over there. Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just uh. No, not the game making me turn real quick. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency. Lake yep. water. You yep. know. Yep. Yep. Mother yep. Nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind. First door on your right. Forget it. Man. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. Okay. There must be another way up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can check out that map of the building near the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already on the Why way. I think of that? I'm Love already it. on the way. Wow, really? I have to go all the way around? Oh my gosh. This is triggering me. Can I come in here? What's up, sis? You called yesterday I like your corn rolls. All right, how do I get upstairs? All right. All right. Um. Those stairs outside. There's a ladder. Let's go for it. You had now. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. It only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. My love language is $3 million specifically. That's wild.
Why three million? Why not two point nine? There. He said specifically. Fires. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really. No. Right. Let's go. All right. So how do we make a diversion? Hey, yeah, uh, Corey's feeling freaky deaky. Thank you, Corey, for gifting us up. A member shield. Thank you. Uh, how do you want me to create a diversion? pile of paperwork what about it i could tip it over kind of messy but sure one million for them to leave me alone and 1.5 for a house and 500k Tyler, for spending Sorry, purposes i wasn't looking where i was going just hey look at her leave that there Her. All right, I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. I literally was just there. Now she gives me directions to a place I just was. I'm not really in that damn bad. Winter hair. Okay, I'm by the door. Come on. I know I still have to use GPS to get to the grocery store, but don't do me like that, bro. Don't do me like that, bro. Shit, where are you? Right here, open the door. Quick, get in. Oh God, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny, own it. All right, now that we've, we finally did our due diligence, let's investigate this hoe. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Let's read it. Let's go through his mail. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. I shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Wait. <coughs> <coughs> Wait. She got into her dream college and her uncle didn't tell her? Lied to her and said that she didn't get in? Am I getting this correct? We would have to fight. We would have to physically fight. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find it enclosed the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Well, that's your personal problem. Let's not blame him for that. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Fine, none of our business. Um, why is she not more upset? You find That's a anything? major thing. No. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen Can he I tell is. y'all something? Doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. Here, I think it's really important worse. in life to like have things to look forward to and I need y'all to know there's only one thing I'm looking forward to and it's supposed to happen next month 
And this is a serious thing. Another collectible prayer. Huh. Hey, you. I am literally living. Have y'all ever been to Kava? Though C A V A. We are destined to burn. We emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. The sweet potatoes are supposed to come oh, back to Kava. Yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. The sweet potatoes are coming back to Kava. I haven't been back to Kava since they got rid of the sweet potatoes. Um, so I'm really huh. excited. Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Six months in prison a really time hiring for a lot. misdemeanor for robbery. A There's always a drug choice. paraphernalia. Hold on. Why did they spell no it files, misdemeanor? But zero case files. Oh no, the game misspelled this word three times in a row, and now I've been taking out my immersion. Um, uh, resume of Donald M. Mert. It's in the army. Hard pass. Under general discharge, under honorable conditions from the armed forces of the United States of America, this is to certify, certify that Donald M. Mert, private first class, regular army was discharged from the army of the united states on the 26th day of april 2012 under you honorable sure conditions i will right now sis um who pissed in your cereal that's that's a wild thing to say city council meeting huh tom invited eddie over for dinner oh yeah uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. No, and I want to. Kava Whoa. is so good. Brown looked at our file this morning. Chipotle Wait, can what? never compare to Kava. What does that mean? Ugh, so good. I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. R68653. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. The archives. Where are you? Where's the archives, sis? I'm guessing you know, and I'm following you. Oh, we need a card. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. Kava is also kind of expensive. Seriously. It's the same price as Chipotle, try. pretty much. I think a Kava bowl is like a chicken Kava bowl. It's like 13 bucks before tax. Um, okay, let's. Sh okay. So I'm looking at these and obviously zero, one, six, and four are worn out. Can I just try them all or should I look this up? I'm just going to try them. One, let's try one, zero, four, six. I don't think that's the right order. How did that tune go? How did that tune go again? Dum da -de -doo. I'm sorry. I don't think I got that. Dum da -de Oh, shut up. <laughs> you never told me you had perfect pitch. Shut up. Dum da -de -doo. Okay. Let's try one. Hey, I'm six, Zero. Four. Will. Oh, gee, only 24 different possibilities. Will, thank you so much for the five gifted. How was your day, Will? How was your day? One six four zero. I don't. Oh wait, hold on. Oh my god, I didn't even see the sound effects. Dumb. Da. Okay, so it is. You're pressing the wrong number. Six zero. Dumb, da, d, 
do. Yes. There we go. I was really gonna sit here and do all 24 combinations. Not too bad. Uh, I'm glad to like hear that. Finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized the closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half done sorting system. Thank y'all yep. so much. This is gonna be so fun for you. I I'm think we're only like 10 away from the membership goal what? opportunity. I appreciate Why do I have to be you. the one stuck with box duty? Because Don't wink at me, Heffa. If sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. All right. Six, eight, six, five, three. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. What year was it? Wait, hold on. What did it say? Um, closed files up to 1990 have been done. Remaining files in left corner. Just try all of them. It's giving try all of them. Not this one either. Uh, no, that's not it. Nope. Well, not this one either. No, that's not it. <laughs> not this one either. Uh, where's okay. the damn box? <laughs> Finding anything? It was R six eight six five three, right? That reference number again. Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. Here we go. Here we go. Looks like a step by step record of the investigation. Um, notify my partner, Officer Christian Holt of accident at 12 Canary Road. White female identified as Mary Ann Ronan. AKA our mama falling over the deck into Lake Holt and I arrived at the state at the scene briefed by patrol officer Jay Chan witnesses. The children couldn't get a statement from them. They were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under the care of officer Jay Chan, um, completed photographs of the scene. Okay. Well, so far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Yeah, there wasn't anything in that file that I didn't already know. But yeah, Kava is like the, would, it, would you say it's like the Mediterranean version of Chipotle maybe? All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Let's look at the crime report. Autopsy report. Personal information and rap sheet. Okay. Right. 
reference is 05R62766. Mm, let's find it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. R six zero five R six two. Yo, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. Let me check this again. I'm missing it. Zero five R six two seven six six. Zero five R sixty two seven sixty six. Y'all are talking about Harry Potter. Y'all are y'all. Y'all be talking about anything and everything. I love it. Bro, I do not see no box that looks like 05 R62 and ends in a six. I'm just gonna click on all of them. I don't fucking know. No, that's not it. None of these are correct. Nope. Should no. I open up 2005? 2015, I mean? Maybe that's it. Maybe I need to just go by the year. It's none of these. It's none of these. I never got to know what house you're in. Um. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Girl, I did not know. are correct bro no that's not it i'm missing it somewhere i feel like i've clicked on every damn box in here nope i've clicked on every box in here no ho no stop asking me just give me a minute if it's I'm still the same it was I, need to hurry. I do not see it is it the box I already pulled? Is it the box I already pulled? I have her autopsy report. Okay. She... Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab her was not fatal. What? Did we not just read this file? I don't want to talk about it. Let's get the fuck out of here. I want to get out. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me out. Let me out. There might be other references on the computer. Okay. Let's try Eddie Brown, March 1st. Been there, done that. All right, let's try 
Recording March 1st. Dallas Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up. Let's try running, children. I got the audio recording already. Let's try Eddie and Marianne. Uh, already seen this one. Bingo. 2005 to 2005 to 0151546 Nope. Okay, then it's this one. There. Okay, here's one of the complaints. Shit, it's from Tessa. She said Marianne was shoplifting and that she had a shop. Not Marianne got too. sticky fingers. I going in to get things for her, but Our mama was stealing like that? Tessa also accused her of child neglect. What the hell? Is there any more to that? No, but I'll keep digging. Vichy stated that after 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vichy if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Vichy informed Ronan that she did not, but said that she believed the demand was odd due to the winter season. She walked back through the aisle, grabbed detergent. Vichy stated that she suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in the company and possibly with the aid. Not Tessa accusing us of stealing the kids! She said they don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Vici believed it is possible some form of abuse may be occurring. So Tess has always been the hoe that we thought she was. Like our mama was single mama paying the bills, taking care of what do we do? Um stole him. No shit, Sherlock. Um, tell him I'm using the bathroom. Okay, so we'll go back to the computer. Perfect. Tessa's name came up. Search for her. Been there, done that. Uh, already seen this one. Been there, done that. Hospital discharge. Okay, I've done every single. Okay, here it is. Y'all, I'm on the edge of my seat trying to figure out what's happening. Huh. Why is that here? Saint Meadow Clinic. Concussion. Tessa Vici hereby released St. Meta Clinic from liability following the patient as per terms of the release. Why? 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 Why does she have a concussion? This music is making me nervous. I'll get caught. It's very much giving that energy. But guess what? If I get caught, what are they going to do to me? You can't beat me up. 
I'm Brolic. Child services. Search for that. I've already seen this one. Wording? This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Ah, uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S. K Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Mm. Sam and Tessa? Sam and Eddie? DUI? And a complaint? What about Ronan? Uh, sorry, Marianne, Sam, Marianne. I think I've done all these. Uh, I've already seen this one. Uh, been there, done that. References zero five R sixty one eight eighty nine. Here we go. Yo, we zooming through this. We zooming through this. By the way, thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight. You. You sexy thing, you. Appreciate you. Um, so this is a report from our mama. Uh, undock, lace eye victim, threatened her child with a gun. We know that. We know that. Okay. Uh, man, shouldn't police reports be straight and to the point? On March 1st, 2005, at around 2200, the victim, Mary Ann Ronan, a 41 year old white female, exited her home and entered her garage to start loading a Rassler 3121 9mm shotgun. Shortly after, her child, Ronan. 11 years old entered the garage to display a new haircut given by sister according to witnesses ronan's statement when she saw the child's haircut mary ann became enraged and threatened ronan with a shotgun ronan fled the garage towards the lake calling for help mary ann followed still still armed out onto the deck on the southern side of the property hearing the noise uh Ronan also came out of the house towards the dock where she observed Ronan under threat from Mary Ann defend themselves by stabbing mother with a pair of scissors. At the time, both witnesses state Ronan lost constant Mary Ann lost consciousness and fell into the lake at 2229. The police department officer received a phone call on arrival. They set up a containment of the scene. And March 1st, Officer Holt, um, they note the crime scene was located entirely outdoors. Detectives observed a loaded shotgun on the dock. No rounds had been discharged. Um, witnesses state that Rodin stated that she heard screaming while she was upstairs in the bathroom, bedroom. She ran down the stairs and looked over the kitchen window. I'm going to kill you. Rodin then stepped Mary Ann with the pair of scissors trying to escape. Yeah, we already know that. We knew every single piece of that already. Well, give me some new info, bruh. I need to get moving. Hey, let's get out of here then. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Oh, shit. 
Oh shit! Hide! Get out. Uncle, I. We didn't mean to. I'm not to... gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said, move it. H hey, get off me. Rather spend the night here. Come on. I said, don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky, your family. Huh. You want to talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're going to lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You and Tessa and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. I mean, where's the lie? I'm just trying to think. If I had two kids... That's already a handful. I'm doing it alone. And then all these people are trying to tell me I'm a horrible mother and take my kids away the from me? The winter before your mother's death was... hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and... plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Y'all, can I just say again how happy I am that I don't have locals kids? Have found time to help her. <laughs> uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure there's, to provide adequate food, There's no way that's really what happened. supervision. There's no way. In attention to a child's psychological care? There's like no it or not, way. she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Wait. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? Wait. I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What's the point what in having a brother for a do? cop if you're not going to make this go away? Are we supposed to pretend like you're to, you're a good cop? Was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. More likely to see a unicorn, the fuck? I want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Yeah, fuck this Thank guy. You, uncle. And fuck Tessa. Are you gonna ask him about the fact that you didn't go to college? Just like that, huh? Just like that, huh? Just like that, huh? Just Must like be that. It's nice huh? to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Yep. 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 I do not like Allison. I'm gonna and let y'all know that you right keep now. You're trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take I don't like her last stream, and I sure as fuck don't like death. her now. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. Which one? Which mistake? You've got every right to be angry. Being a father? Well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler. If you want it. <laughs> the options are we could get there with time or no it's not that easy I'm gonna go with how I would answer fuck off I'm sorry Eddie it's not that easy you're right about one thing though nah it's time we move on <laughs>
Yep. Give him back his fucking present. See you around. Exactly. See you. Bye. You're gonna have to die with that guilt, homie. You're gonna have to die with that guilt. Allison will still come around with her whack ass. What is she saying? Let's have a talk later. Just us, okay? All right. I'll see you later. Move, ho. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck because Allison stuck me in here. I can't walk. I hate this bitch. Let me out! Oh my god. I want to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Should we go? She says, should we go when you're the reason why I can't move? All I can do is turn. All I can do is turn. That's fucking wild. I hate Allison. Oh my God, 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 I hate Allison. I can't do anything. Oh my God. Tyler, come on. Let's get out of here. Stop telling me that! You're gaslighting me. She's gaslighting me. I can't stand her. I can't stand her. That's what you get for being nosy. All I was trying to do, like, it gives me the option to talk to him some more. So I was going to tell him about his mama and how his mama got crooked teeth and she got ashy ankles and how she don't know how to cook and how her breast smell like uh, mortar oil. That's all I was about to do. Motherfucker. If I have to watch. Please. 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 Thank God. It's all good, Allison. Let's have a talk later. Stupid trick. Us, okay? All right. You, you, you walk out first. You walk out first. You walk out first. Don't look at me. Walk out. Yeah, stay over there. I got some business to handle. You should get going, Tyler. Don't fucking tell me what to do. Can we go? I need to get out of here. Nobody's stopping you. Uber is always running. I wonder if other people playing this game. Not them giving her words of encouragement. Allison. What? You Did I just shit. open the How door? Can you tell? And she because walked I through it? Like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Why would we not confront her? Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Why would we not confront oh Tessa? Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Y'all can't see it because I'm covering it up, but Allison's giving me the stank face. Her tears make me feel nothing. I have no sympathy for you. None. None. So was our mama really shoplifting? 
Oh, wait, Tessa making that up, too. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Something tells me I'm gonna haul off and slot this lady. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. Let's check her office. Duh. Go to her office. I think I'm something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Imagine if Tessa booked it. I would chase her but to the ends of the earth. Who is here? We can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. Bye. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Get some blush, sis. You're looking a little washed out. I stopped to take a leak just as I Let's check her office first. Where's your ugly ass wife? What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? I do not. Get their support. I hope you don't think I want to stand there while you have this conversation. I hope you don't think that's what's going to happen. I'm standing there and you just going to keep talking. You. Where's the where's Tess? You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately, we're looking for Tessa Listen, again. Listen, well, Septim Piercing engages. Ago. Sorry. Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. How about Tom? Why you would busy? she not come back? Is this not her business? All morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. All right, let's go back to Tom. Let's go back to time. What are these prices looking like, though? Oh, they didn't do the prices in the game. Two twenty-five for a box of Kleenex. This better not be Alice, girl. If you don't, y'all, Allison's about to catch an Wait, elbow in the fucking again? throat if she no, don't I leave me alone. I'm gonna get a new twin. Keep messing with me. Can I help you? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something she had I to go over with another with, family. Would it? Yeah, maybe. Actually, uh, we were over at the police station. I had a perfect view of both of the characters. And then here comes Allison with her old Navy clearance rack fucking beanie in the middle of the goddamn screen, blocking everything for everybody. Why does this hoe want me to beat her up? Like, I will rearrange your facial features. I will be your plastic surgeon, bitch. Keep fucking with me. And, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne to social <laughs> services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You no, never fact, thought to mention it? Well, no. Why are you here? I I'm thought you were shopping. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Tessa's your wife. Your wife's business ain't your business? That's what you're telling me? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. Sure she was. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. She caused it. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but... Dang, we really you know, killed our mama for no reason, bro. No news travels faster than a secret. Damn, Everyone that is the worst. After Brown was Oof. on his way out. Oof. Let's go find Tessa. Okay. Wherever we find Tessa, I don't care if it's the back Look, of Kroger. I don't care if I'm it's a car wash. We are going to have a misunderstanding. 
resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But Child. your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. I'm gonna need these people to stop talking to me. Because every single adult in this game has failed these, these two people. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. <laughs> it's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, yep, yep. I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was mm. there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you Plot ever twist, hear he was having an affair with Marianne, right. and he's really our father. Who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. The timing your of that sentence. mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't you just, say. He just called our mama a hoe. But look, I... Oh, you just as raggedy gosh. as your wife. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. You are just as raggedy. Why do people go bald in the uh, center first? Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just Does anyone know why up? men sure get bald thing, in the middle and later. not the sides? What's it about the top of the head? You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working it for free? Is the brother in the room with us? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. <gasps> oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, no. I'm not really excited about going there. I don't care. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. The days of me caring about Tyler, what Allison wants done. are gone. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Whatever gets me to the truth fastest. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never... I'm so sorry. I knew walking away would make her stop talking to me. All right. So I already counted there, <laughs> but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? <laughs> the job I mean, like that hard. It's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. Right. <laughs> Not too running away. Go to away. the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Tomato sauce. Got you. Say less. So we're doing inventory. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Hold on. Let me count this. Oh, you want me to count? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. <laughs> I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. Bleach. Bet. Um, on it. On it. Bleach. Was it over here? No, that looks like flour. Um. What's in here? Bread? What's in uh, here? No, that's not what Michael wanted. Okay. That looks like memory cards? I see the word RAM. That's a wild thing to have. 
probably over here. Let's count. I spy with my little eye six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. You know the best part about this scene? My what's sister's that? not here. I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit, but I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a is multitasker. Is he hitting on us? Hey, multitasker. I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be I 36. I mean. Oh, how dare you, sir? You what? look presentable. <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. So what time do you get off work? All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. Plushies. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all, he is trying to hit it. He is trying to get with me. Uh, plushies. Plushies. What's in here? I wonder what's in that box. I wonder what's in that box. Oh, so we're not going to look. Got you. Uh, no, that's not it. Got you. You wonder what's in the box, but you're not gonna look what's in the box. Bet, 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 bet. That makes sense. Ah, uh, I don't see nothing here that could be plushies. Is it up here? Is it over here? Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. <sighs> the only processed food Marianne ever let us eat. She said they were her guilty pleasure. He's down bad. We just gonna sit down. We got work to do. Ooh, another collectible. Let's go. The mangy muskrat. Love that for us. Who's this a photo of? Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. <laughs> for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. More evidence that I he was hitting on us, we Squad. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah. Yep. I see it. If this game doesn't end with the two of them married, I don't know what, what, what I'll do. So... Two, four, six, seven, eight... Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Did I get it wrong, Michael? Oh no, where's Bay? Ouch! What the fuck? Hey, sorry. Hey, he wants to play tempting. with us. <laughs> oh my god! This is officially my favorite part of the whole game. Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Fool, let me hit you. <laughs> gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? You just wait. Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see.
Oh shit, wrong side, wrong so side. So is this a typical work day Where for you? Where'd you go? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Yo! He called us good looking! Oh. So I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Where did he go? Yo, where did my dude go? Oh, boom. Boom. This is so freaking cute. This is so freaking cute. Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt he the has only He well, has hit on us 17 times thing, yeah. since we've been in this room. Okay. I I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Let's in the fridge first. You guys got any brewskis? Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? What? It's the trot I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. He cooked for us? That's actually Oh, baby, dumb. we go together. You. you sound surprised. No, sorry. Oh, okay, we married. used to people randomly doing nice things for We me. engaged. Oh, That's bae. Let's go ahead and change our last name. He caught a fish and cooked it for us and marinated it. Let me straddle him real quick. <laughs> I'm just giddy. We're waiting for marriage. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, yeah, it's must be Tessa. exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town is a full job. And emotional labor pays shit. Have you ever been with anyone here? Or should we ask him if he ever gets lonely? I, I want to ask him about his relationship dating hey, history. I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which I guess I kind of did. Am I? Never met the right person. I've never really been with anybody. I guess I was too busy processing trauma or whatever. But if I met a guy I was into, who knows? Girl Squad, this is the most action I've gotten in, like, years. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me, because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Anyway, what are you doing later? Anyway, and I'm done. The way he he's leaning forward, y'all. Look at the body language. He is so into us. He is so into us. Look at that. Unwavering eye contact, leaning forward. He is enthralled. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronan. You mean the OG Ronan? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, Allison's our a filthy liar. <laughs> actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. I mean, Fire she. Weed, your transition. I hope that's okay. She hasn't seen me in ten years, yeah. so I, I don't know fine. what the fuck she, she could have told you. First. Yeah, figures. That lady is thorough, and she loves you like crazy. I know. 
So, yeah. Oh, I love this uh, game, y'all. You were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. Yo, I'm blushy. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. <laughs> so I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. Lord, I hope I find that, that out Hold one me day. Out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Oof. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move well, I guess, to Juno? That's not true. Y'all are my chosen <laughs> like family. Like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. <sighs> Wrong button. Y'all. I think I'm in love with him. I think we go together. I think I think we should start a family. I think we meant to be. You're swell too, or we're not looking for the same thing. You're swell. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that, but I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So I'll get more of those if I get to know you better. The music changed sure. though. If that's something you'd be interested in. <laughs> I might be, yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm hmm. This cup. I think blocking. we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate Let's her go. so much. I fucking hate her so much. Oh my god, this game got so good as soon as she left. Oh my god. was having a good moment she gonna come in talking about she been waiting an hour that's your choice ho here we are <laughs> i'm sorry y'all i don't know why i hate her this so much i hate her so much thanks for letting me hit your ride over no problem you sure we can't drive you back nah you're like stretching my legs it isn't far and anyway can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Don't Lester say nothing. should be at her parents' grave. Don't say not nothing. Not far from the entrance. Look for a big you crooked tree. You better not tree. say nothing. You can't miss it. You better talk with your eyes. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. I don't want to hear your voice for the rest of this chapter, sis. Good luck. For real. You better learn sign language. I don't want to hear your voice. I don't want to hear the cadence. Don't talk to me. Let's you walk. Look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after you know you killed our mom, and I took the fall for it. House. Cool. Yeah, I'm sure that'd be rough on you. Yeah. Bye. Go back to the house. Raggedy. Which way do we go? So, do you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? Why? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. There's literally no one Lucky here. See? Lucky do. Uh, yeah. Uh, she anyway, touched me in a cemetery? Since the funeral. Oh. Here's a hint, sis. They're dead. Had a reason to. Oh my gosh, she's so annoying. Ugh. Oh my god. All the time. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always come here? 
Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And nah, that's weird. Even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Who are we visiting, Always Mom? Here. Is it our dad? Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. <sighs> okay, I'm done. Or well, which grave is it? Tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Not this one. So we're looking for Tess in a graveyard. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. fine on my own it'll be quick okay then we'll get something to eat the day of the funeral i barely remember it that's probably for the best i don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate so i know i said we didn't have to visit her grave but it feels like the right thing to do yeah exactly I'm assuming she's through here, perhaps. Okay, let's find her dead mom's grave. Where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Girl, stop! Make her stop talking. Please. I'm not going. Allison, come back. Is this her gravesite? This would be easier than last time. This is Probably intricate not. as hell At if it is. No one's sending me away. I'm okay, just kidding. That. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Let's Doesn't try it. Check. Let's try it. I won't let them take you away. I'm going to tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too. But like, can we talk about how unfair this is to Tyler? Tyler is a young child. Was a young child. Dealing with gender identity issues, which is incredibly difficult at any age. Then his he thinks that his mom is trying to kill him. His sister kills the mom to defend him. He takes the fall for it and then she doesn't visit him for 10 years. Even though he's locked up for something he didn't do. Fuck Allison, bro. Fuck her. Her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. 
But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. Yo, do I believe that Allison promised to visit me? Or do I believe that Tyler promised to come back soon? I feel like Tyler probably promised to come back soon. <sighs> Bro. But I'm gonna come see you every week and we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna... I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I feel like that's something a kid would promise. That they would be back soon. Are we just supposed to just blindly guess? I'm gonna go with Tyler's memory. But I'm gonna come see you every because week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. I think I think Tyler's I think Allison's right, but I really don't want to pick it because it's Allison. But I'm gonna come see you every week and we'll talk with our voice every day. I'll be back soon. I think all right? Right. Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that you really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever going to let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. Ah, uh, that is the last time I will pick a memory of yours, Allison. That is the last, last, last time I pick one of your memories. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about 10 years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Where's our mom's grave? <sighs> Who's Carol Brown? Why was our mom crying over her? Brown's mom died. Oh, right. They we're only four. But yeah. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos. Oh, look, there's Tess. You think her death kicked off Marianne's. You know. It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years ago. Sub Tess. Oh. Hi. Oh. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. You were definitely not strong. Tess. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store, Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Nice. Um, it starts with a K, right? Kendra, don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. Uh, I hope this isn't rude, but where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's got to be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season. Who is this like woman? Done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then... Well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's got to change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do you want to go back to Georgia? Kendra has that's such a cute voice. That's the real question, ain't it? Well, that's the I real question. Like I mean, too cold, too quiet. Too quiet. Like a frozen desert. Thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... Uh, that's gotta be hard. Yeah. 
I'm taking this really Don't serious. Don't let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Bye. Sorry. We have to get going. Don't apologize. It was nice talking to you. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. No, but for real though, where is our mama gravesite? It's not down there, right? No, there's nothing. Well, there's yeah, there's more stuff down yeah. there. She got kind of stranded out here. I know. And her daughter's barely two years old. God, I was kind of Ty. This this is it. Right. Which one? Yeah. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? No dice. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah. I'll... Why can't I remember? Um... There we go. We found it. 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 We found our mom's grave. Also, why y'all got so many random graves all over this place? Where's the organization of bodies? That was... I've seen loose change with more organization than these grave sites. What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> why didn't you say anything? Goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. <laughs> Tessa? Kids. All right, let's talk, Tessa. I is you still I a skank? Wasn't expecting to see. I'm sure you weren't. We have questions. What are you? Many preguntas. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? I wasn't about to laugh. It was emotional. For her. How about you keep your raggedy ass Kroger flowers? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. That's not true. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. Damn. I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to to... Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was all alone the cool and kids self isolate. She had us until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. You're talking about our dead mother. If she mother. just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know... She said, is close your legs on, to married Laura men. left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry. So kids. you're putting flowers at a gravesite for someone you claim was 
a horrible mother and a hoe and a shoplifter criminal it's giving fake it's giving fake you destroyed our family mm, you could have done better i get that marianne wouldn't let you help her but there had to be a better way to deal with it especially if she was having some kind of crisis yes you're right there were other things i could have done better things i know i've made mistakes all i can do now is say that i'm sorry if i could give you back your mother i would i don't deserve your forgiveness especially yours tyler but if there's a place for me in your lives i'd like to be there i have to know something first are you good with who i am i've been thinking about that since you came home I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I prayed for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. I'm about to say, because she's saying a whole Thank lot you. of nothing. Tessa... I know the last couple of days have been heated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are. Of course you are. But it's not really up to me. Tyler? <sighs> Allison, 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 Allison. Allison, Allison, Allison. The way she forgives people in 0.5 seconds is wild. Um, I don't want Tyler to be better. Cause you know, when you don't forgive people, when you hold on to that resentment and that anger, it only hurts you, you know what I'm saying? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. You're welcome. Now Both give me a gift card. It's, I never knew your, for your story. story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. Yes, great, great. I hope you can as well. well if you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Really, Suburban? They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You Ugh. know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. Imagine willingly eating coconut cake. Mm. Oh my gosh, it gave a little bit sleepy. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. I did not sleep at I all last night, y'all. Well, change. that's not true. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I haven't been asleep since, but I did sleep some. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? Hmm. Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. I'm sorry, you want to bring a gift to the woman who reported your mama to CPS and reported her to the cops for stealing? Who lied to you? Who tried to get you sent to a conversion camp? Your brother, I mean? But you want to get her a present. <coughs> Hello? You want to sit down for a bit? Not with you. Not with you. Please don't make me sit down with you. Oh, damn it. Can I go back to my man team? God dang, I do not want to hang out with her. Not a bad view, right? 
Yeah. So I get now don't I get any emails. In nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Well, this reunion's kind of gone off the rails, huh? Oh, you mean how we kind of turned Delos Crossing upside down and shook out all its nasty secrets? Yeah, but at least now we know what really happened. I can't thank you enough, by the way. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Hmm. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. Huh. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on <laughs> your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. <clears throat> I just got my first Christmas present delivered, y'all. It's a pregnancy pillow. A dirty pirate got me on my throne. I'm gonna sleep with it tonight. I'm really excited. It's one of those things that like, it wraps around your back and then you put it between your legs and you lay on your side. So it feels like someone's giving you a hug while you're sleeping. Uh, what was she talking about? Stop putting yourself down. No, I'm not saying that. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, all right? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy, but we always pull through. Apparently right? our mother was yeah. easy, according to Tessa, right. the one that you hey. want to get a fucking edible arrangement for. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? No, we still don't know who our daddy is. Delos, Delos was done. We don't. No, nah, we got more investigating to do. No, nah, we got, we got, we gotta find out some more stuff. Maybe she was too proud, but we need to find out why she had a gun. She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Sounds like America. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. Man. When she heard social services was coming. Shout she, out to all the single moms she, out here, bro. Gave up. Yo. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? It's because we still have another chapter, so something's missing. You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. Why is she touching me? It's probably always going to feel that way. She probably smell like cat hair. Yo, we spent the whole day at the gravesite. <sighs> I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit, Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. How? Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's a there's there's more there's more there's more to that story. Tyler. Tyler, are you all right? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. Why is Tyler knocked out? You landed on soft snow. You didn't get shot, Tyler. What the fuck? What? Oh 
Bitch, you landed on Frosty the Snowman. And why? Was, why do you have a concussion? A, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Hey. At least you were spared. Another collectible. I, really I wonder how many there are in this game. And how many we found at this point. So, did Chief Brown teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. The door hit his face? Okay, I missed that. Did I guess I missed really that. Did really have to smash everything? That makes more sense. Don't don't get me stuck. Don't get me stuck. Don't get me stuck. got me stuck again what a mess she really got me stuck again oh cat hair goodwill hat got me stuck again <sighs> I better not have to get boinked in the head again with that door I hate her. I hate her so much. Everything's on the floor. I hate her so much, bro. So, Stay over did there. Chief Brown teach you how to put out a Where fire? Where I can see you. Nope. I taught myself. Did he really have to smash everything? I have to look at all of this all over again? For the first hey, time? Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. Hell yeah, we should. A few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Let's get a crowbar. Let's get a crowbar. Let's get a crowbar. Let's get a crowbar. Crowbar. Or a hammer. Bitch! Really turned this place upside down. A crowbar or a hammer per if you don't thank you, sir. Now, Allison, we know how he made the get hole. the hell out of the room. Why? Why do you have to be over my shoulder? Step back. I'll be fine. Get out my ear. Your hot breath is tanning my skin. It's moisturizing my face. You should not be that close to me, sis. Ugh. Nosy ass. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Why do I feel like whatever's in here is about to shake our world? What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Uh, what is that? Can I look at hey. it up close? Doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the Book of Goblins? Bam. The secret keeper from the Goblins. Hold on. Finding anything? Just give me a sec. 
We wrote a shit ton of stories. New tip from Zar17. Just been lurking and enjoying watching the stream. 100. Thank you so much, Zar. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. That's so generous. Ew. Ew. Oh, let me get some handcuffs. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you've been having a good day. I think the first tip of the stream, too. Came in here with, with a biggie. Came in here with a biggie. No foreplay. No foreplay. Nada. That was inappropriate. I apologize. Hey. Doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the Book of Goblins? The secret keeper. Where's the secret keeper? Which one of these stories? Do I just have to go through all of them? Friends, big pause. All right, I'm just gonna go through all of them, I guess. Um, secret keeper, secret keeper, secret keeper. There has to be a more efficient way to do this. Secret keeper. Her most prized possession was a tin mirror sold to her by the secret keeper. And she kept it in a chest at the bottom of the lake. It was no ordinary mirror. If you looked in it, you would see a reflection of who you truly desired to be. And for one hour, the mirror granted you the power to appear as that person. The moon hag loses her name. Okay, I don't see any other mentions of a secret keeper. Yo, my ability to scan some text is it's unparalleled. It. Look, it's the same symbol, the secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. All right, numbers. Mm. My fault, numbers, few minutes, coin, two goblins. Silver handed brush, secrets, tears, more than that, crafty goblins, the princess preparing food. Um, um, thank you, Lolo. Thank you again so much, Zar. That's very generous. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see. Hey, doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the Book of Goblins? Okay, three numbers. Do 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 Um let's find out since at the second house of the first goblin does she get her second so the goblins watch the secret keeper She's by the goblins Loose Secrets, climb high. Okay, oh wait, no, I see pictures. Hold up, I just see the number three. One, three, zero. That did it. <laughs> I'm over here trying to read the story. I'll be overthinking it. Be overthinking it. Kesa! Oh my God, Kesa! Can I please get a shout out for Kesa? How you doing, Kesa? How you being? Have you ever played this game? Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. 
All right, here we go. Give y'all a proper accent. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chose, I chased after all the new girls in Delos Crossing. Hold up, no, this is a fuckboy. Hold on. This is a fuckboy, right? I gotta change it to my fuckboy voice. Hey, yo, dear Marianne. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Delos Crossing, but I've always taken my vows seriously. You know what I mean? But something changed when I met you, baby girl. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the oh, highway nice. with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you. I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something, something for next time. You know, wear that little thingy thing I like. <laughs> I can't wait to see how it looks on you. <laughs> Fuck. That's rough. All right, here we go. Fuck boy letter this, number two. This guy tried to push Mary Ann to get an abortion, even though she wanted to keep us. I knew he was a fuck boy. As soon as I saw the handwriting, I was like, this is a fuck boy. You never played it, you chilling? I hope you're having a good day. I hope you've been good. Um, Mary Ann, I'm sorry you're in the, we're in this situation. I, Mary Ann's not in the situation. You got her pregnant. I'm assuming you're the baby daddy. We're in a situation. I know you feel you'd make a great mother and I don't doubt you will someday, but right now we have to be sure we don't ruin three. But right now we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. Where did My he marriage. Even come from? I didn't notice any cars on the way in. He bailed behind the barn. My After that, your guess is as good as mine. Should be easy to see where he went because of the snow, right? Unless, you know, why won't she shut the fuck up? Shoes. If there was an option to mute Allison for this whole game, I would pick it. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk and I don't want you to have to go through. So let me get this straight. You want me to to not be a mother even though I really want to have these kids. And the reason why is because you you feel like people are gonna gossip about me because we've been sleeping together. You're worried about me. And what people are gonna say about me, not about you ruining your marriage, right? I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right. This man, just let me know how you much you throw need. Everything on the ground? child who knew they have fuck boys in alaska learn something new every day what the hell so marianne hid a box it's an epidemic barn, a box full of letters from our deadbeat dad and a decade later some guy comes along trashes the barn and tries to destroy the box you thinking what i'm thinking yep that guy had an affair with marianne and he just tried to torch the evidence he must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. You know what's wild? Imagine having two children living in the same city as you their entire lives, and you're their father, and you never tell them. You never wanted them. That's a special, that's a special level of sociopathy. That is a special level of sociopathy. I don't know 
about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. here that night in the woods no it was just i i saw who the hell did i actually see yo why do i feel like we're about to end on a cliffhanger for tonight why do i feel like we're about to end on a cliffhanger damn he ran straight for it no stops no turns he was on a mission Oh, this no, is getting creepy. That that was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah. Unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here. Sarcasm once is not. Before. It's not the time. It's not Wasn't the time. He? A few days before Marianne died. Maybe. Hold on. Do you feel that? Feel what? Feel what? Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Why? Y'all, the two options they give me is just one more time or even after what I did for you. Yo, the way I want to the way I want to select even after what I did for you is wild. I oh child, I want to pick it. But I know this whole game is about building their relationship, but oh. Oh, I want to pick that, bro. Just one more time. Please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? Reverse it. How, how can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I swear, I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. Just leave her! Just okay. leave her! Let's go. 
Yo, she has to get to the mall. There's a there's a there's a sale at Lululemon. There's a sale at Lululemon. She's she's gotta go. Dang, why is this one so hard? Are you help? Are you trying? You don't look like you're trying. You're not even looking at it. Why are you here? Oh my God, I hate her so much. Oh my God, I hate her so much. Hold on, am I supposed to be doing something? Can I push her? Can I push her? Bro, I, I have no idea. Do I need to walk up closer to it? Like, they are like, why are you? Oh my God, I hate her so much. Oh my God, I hate her so fucking much. Hold on, am I supposed to like move it or? There's, I, I don't, I, this game doesn't tell me anything. I've done this like five times. Like Jesus, do I just hold it down this whole time? Oh, I just hold it down forever. Got you. Bet, 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 bet. Ouch! Watch it. You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. Don't want mom to catch us out of bed. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. All Who is this guy? If it's, if it's, if it's survive. Tess's husband, I if will lose my shit. Sure I don't get desperate. You could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. This is the most annoying character I've seen Don't since... Don't go, please. That chicken until dawn. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's the only glasses. gonna get worse. This fucking bitch. She, oh my god. She's still walking. She's walking away. She's walking away. She's walking away. That's wild. It, the way that I'm built, like my core values and what, like the blood and the bones in my body cannot understand Ouch. not Watch wanting it. the truth at all costs. Place. Can you hear what they're saying? I can't imagine it. Quiet. Even if the truth hurts, I want bed. the truth. I want, I need the truth. I can't imagine. I can't imagine this. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! How did y'all forget this? How did y'all forget that? Oh, no. 
What's wrong with her? Okay. 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> I can't even say anything. I can't even say anything. Um, Tyler felt relied on when Allison chose his memory at the house. Okay. Um, Tyler didn't feel heard about any time. Um, okay. Allison felt left down. When Tyler couldn't forgive Eddie, eighty percent of people forgave Eddie. That's fine. I'm I'm okay being part of the twenty percent that didn't forgive him. I'm fine with that. Um, Eddie was sorry that whatever. Deal with it. Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. Per, that's Bay. Um, we forgave Tessa. Um. God, what was that ending? What was that ending? What was that ending, y'all? That was, that was, that was good. That was good. Um, that was good. That was good. All right, so same time, same place tomorrow, you guys. We're gonna be finishing this game. Um, tomorrow will also be, um, I think the last stream of the year, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, we shall see. That sounds so final, say last stream of the year. Thank you again so much, Zar, for that dono. I appreciate y'all. Hope you have a good night, Gear Squad. And I will see you tomorrow.